Back to here in the Valley, Monday is July 1st, of course, a day a lot of new laws will be enacted. It's also the date one very old law will be newly enforced. The Americans with Disabilities Act has been on the books since 1990, though rarely, if ever, monitored. Well, tonight, News 10's Brent Fraser updates us on Vigo County, which has to be handicap accessible by next week. In January, County Commissioner Judy Anderson called the process of becoming ADA compliant a monster. Today, she calls it a huge relief. Uh, we were really uh, very apprehensive about the finances and what it was going to cost us to do. So, yes, we were very pleasantly surprised. Surprised that Vigo County wasn't as bad off as initially thought. Anderson says their privately hired consultant found transportation to be the area with the greatest need for improvement. Sidewalks, for example, and curb cutoffs, though the city has many more sidewalk miles to be scrutinized. Vigo County commissioners are about to submit their transition plan dated just this past Monday to the federal government for review. The 12 page report addresses each problem area and according to Anderson, shows that every instance of non-compliance has been or is being addressed. Vigo County is even ahead of the curve in some areas. Take, for example, this secondary handicap accessible door on the south side of the government annex where Anderson's office is. She says the county upgraded the door two years ago and didn't even have to. One of my biggest concerns was that is where our veterans office is. And we have a lot of veterans that are disabled. So we made that door down there uh, handicap accessible. An investment Anderson says was about five to seven thousand dollars, but worth a million perhaps in the way of goodwill gestures. With photojournalist Cody Murphy, I'm Brent Frazier at News 10. The city of Terre Haute is racing to meet that July 1st deadline, as is every other city and county government in the country.